Okay guys, um, now that we have these printed out, um, we are ready to start our um, lino cut. Um, sometimes it's called a litho cut. Lino cut, litho cut, it's the same thing, tomato, tomato. Um, so again, you only need to do one portrait. I just printed out two um, to give you multiple examples. So I also, I usually, look at this, it printed, it printed a picture of me too. Um, I usually like to have a printed copy um, that I don't do anything to, so it can stay nice and pure, um, so I can look at it as a reference, while these ones are gonna get kind of scribbled on, cut apart, stuff like that. So there are multiple ways that you can get this image onto this image, um, or pff, this image onto here. The first one, pretty generic, you can go ahead and you can just freehand it by looking um, and you can draw it just by looking. Another thing is you could cut it out um, with scissors or um, an X-Acto knife and make kind of like a stencil and then trace it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I'm going to actually just fill out with my pencil what I want to be carved away, and then I'm going to do um, a transfer over here. So those are a couple of different ways to do it. So remember, what you carve away is going to be the color of the paper. So I'm going to car we're going to carve away the white, and we're leaving all of the black, all of the shadows. So right now, I am just filling out with graphite the white of Jeff's face. I'm gonna say, move over Nolan. Outline it. So, what's it? So, no, when I transfer this over, it's not going to be perfect. That's why I have my printed picture too that I can look at while I carve. This is just to get my basic shapes over to my tile. And you can take longer on this than I am. I just don't want to bore you guys. So now that I have that, I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to push down and try and transfer over where I scribbled on Jeff's face. Yeah, it's looking, uh, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so now you can barely see, can you see on the camera? It's hard because this is gray and this is gray. <laughs> um, but I have this lovely picture of Jeff and just like this stamp, I'm going to carve away my detailed areas things that I want to make sure are sharp first. So right now, I'm just kind of outlining what I carved. I keep 
pulling it towards myself, but I should have it over here. And right now I see that there's like, his hair is kind of, you know, it's not a harsh line, it's kind of feathered. So I wanna try and get that effect on here. So I'm gonna do some kind of sketchy lines with my blade to indicate the hair. And then also down here, maybe the same thing by his ear. I don't wanna do a straight line. And then also by his beard too, kind of the same thing. So it's gonna feel kind of weird because you're doing kind of opposite of drawing, right? You're carving away the white instead of leaving the white. And we're, car we're leaving the shadow because if you guys ever get to ink these, um, that is, oh look, there's Spencer. Spencer's down the hallway. Um, remember that whatever gets inked, whatever is left behind in the tile is what's gonna pick up the ink. Okay, so I paused the video for a little bit because Spencer came up to hang out. So I talked to him for a little bit um, and while we did that, I did a little bit more detail work on my print. Um, and now I'm going to go in with the bigger that I got most of the outline. I'm going to go in with one of my bigger blades and start carving away. I'm going to start with his forehead. Again, while I was carving, I had my printed picture right next to me so I could kind of see small details that got lost in the transfer. And I'm just gonna continue to do this until I carve away all of the white. Um, and so I'll do that in a second. But for right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some examples of students in the past. So here's some examples of some cuts that were done in the past. Um, I think these ones are pretty cool. I like this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I hope that gives you enough information and ideas I'll put those off the screen and tips and let me know if you need any more help I think this is a really fun fun project and I like how it looks when you're done I think it looks really good so carve away be careful make sure to cut away from yourself and make sure someone in your household knows that you're carving in case you get hurt don't get hurt though. Don't do it.